This will be the exercise tutorial for the suture pad. This is a multi-layer pad, as you guys can see. So we can use each individual layer for different things. Um, focus on making your incision on in an area that you can have multiple incisions on the pad. When you make your incision, make sure it's deep enough and it goes down to enough of the layer that you want to work on. Uh, if you get down to that red layer, uh, that would be more similar to your linea. These yellow layers would be more resembling your uh, subcutaneous tissue or subcuticular tissue you want to work on. So make sure it's a nice long incision. And as you can see here, you have to actually spread the tissue with your fingers to get down and visualize those deeper layers. You can use each layer differently, and in this situation, I'm just practicing a buried knot. Um, you can also do it without doing a buried knot if we want to make this like the linea. Um, it'd be good to practice both continuous and interrupted sutures in this manner. Uh, take nice hefty bites, and as you can see here, we're doing a, a deep to superficial, superficial to deep. Um, you may have to have your assistant hold the tissue open so you can visualize it, but this is a good way to, to practice ensuring that you're not slipped down properly and, and, and go much deeper than you need them to be if it was, let's say, just uh, the skin sutures. So practice if you can. If this was a, uh, a linea, I would probably recommend that we did uh, five knots on the starting knot and then, of course, uh, two more. We go seven knots on the finishing knot, and that the finishing knot is actually a fairly weak knot because there's a loop in it. So you have to do two more uh, than the starting knot. As you can see here, I'm doing, uh, these are vertical bites on the, uh, let's say, uh, resembling the linea. These bites are, are evenly spaced apart, putting a nice tension on the tissue. I'm not grabbing the tissue too hard, and it allows me to uh, set up a good uh, finishing knot. There's our loop and to single strand, and we're going to finish with seven throws total. And once you're finished, you can have your assistant or yourself cut the knot short. So you can see here that's buried nicely. Now we're going to go ahead and pretend that this is subcutaneous tissue. Uh, it's another deep to superficial, superficial to deep if you want to practice bearing that knot, which I think is a good thing to do. You can see here that it sits nicely down in the uh, synthetic tissue. Then go ahead and uh, practice your surgeons um, and then go ahead and start your continuous line. You can see here we're taking actually horizontal bites. They are horizontal in relation to the horizon, so they're not vertical like those linea bites you said you saw before. Uh, we typically do these for subcutaneous and subcuticular patterns. Uh, it does oppose the tissue very nicely, so I want you to practice this, especially for the live animal surgery. And notice after I take my bite, I have the needle come out and I grab it with the forceps. I want you guys to practice doing that over and over again. Uh, it's a very useful technique. And then, of course, bearing, you're going to go uh, to try to first create your deep loop by doing superficial to deep, and then deep to superficial. And you can see here, that's the deep loop. And now we want to tie to a deep single strand. So we're going to cut back on it and go superficial to deep again. Uh, and that's basically how you bury a knot. And you can sit here, sit, see here that this sits very nicely deep into the tissue and allows you to uh, properly put down good square throws. The surgeon's on it and followed by square knots.